first time a performer plays the Houston Rodeo, you really feel like you're legitimately a country music star. It is the quintessential country music performance. I do remember it was in 1984, and I wore a red outfit, and I was so proud of it because I was about to wear my belt buckle. Rodeo contestants, I mean, this is the biggest show in town for them, and to win Houston is really a big deal. The first time I ever stepped foot out on my dirt, I got a chance to look up at 70,000 people, and I realized that uh, this little kid was starting to get to uh, live his dream as a, a professional rodeo athlete. We're here to promote agriculture and support education. In 1957, I received the first Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo Scholarship. I'm very grateful for the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. We have 700 kids a year on the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo Scholarship. It's really a positive, meaningful impact on their lives. The show's 90-year history is built on generations of dedicated volunteers. I'm the third generation of my family being involved in the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. I'm extremely proud of my family's history within the show as every generation has served not only a participant but a volunteer and I can't wait to continue my service as a volunteer to this organization. The support of this community years old from Houston did the Pledge of Allegiance at the top of the show. Let's see if Devin can make a stand again. Devin tries to take out every time for Devin. Great job, Devin. Five-year-old Corey Mango of Southwest Texas. Now, it's five-year-old Jack Foley. Nope, Jack's not here. Let's go to another five-year-old, Jones Weaver, from Houston, Texas. Likes bow riding and wants to be a scientist. This is Jones. All right.